built this state, and from the dust grew the seventh largest city in the nation. And from this city comes cowboys, Dallas Cowboys. These are the men that traded hats for helmets. They're known throughout the nation. They are Texas tough. This is a symbol of Texas pride, the Super Bowl trophy, twice won by the Dallas Cowboys. And on the wall here is another symbol of Texas pride, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, known to football fans around the world. But they also provide inspiration and a dream for a lot of starry-eyed little girls. Over 1,200 women try out for a job that pays $15 a game. Only 36 are chosen to become the bouncing pride of the state. In Texas, this is bigger than winning the Miss America pageant. When I was 13, 14, I remember sitting in Texas Stadium with my parents. And I wouldn't watch the players. I'd watch the cheerleaders thinking, that's what I want to do one day. So I went and auditioned and was fortunate enough to make the squad. Leslie Haynes was a cheerleader for three consecutive years. That meant trying out each season to make the squad. Years later, she is what little girls' dreams are made of. I'm the Dallas cheerleader. The Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have opened a studio in Dallas to teach girls, little girls, the proper way to be cheerleaders. Right now, at this age, I think they just want to get out there and dance with the pom-poms. They don't understand football. They don't understand, you know, the crowds. I think it's getting in the uniform and looking at women that they think they can look up to and say, wow, you know, they're really neat. They have something that's special. Children here are taught much more than cheers, tumbling, and ballet. For these three- and five-year-olds, it's the first lesson in Southern Charm. You have to have a grace about yourself. And that all comes along with just caring, being neat, taking care of yourself, and being proud. And that's what we try to instill in these little girls. Danielle, second position. Renove. And... Cheering classes like these would only happen in Texas. This is the only place in America where being a cheerleader would mean as much as winning the Super Bowl. I hope that inspiration can stay with all little girls because it's a tradition that we want to carry on. 